doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon. Sir, a message from Coast Watch and ETH has been activated in our sector. You haven't received any mayday calls. Yes, I did mention that to them, sir. Got the coordinates? Sir. Roger. Planes near 117. Let's find this EPIRB. Yeah, 117. Coach, watch this. It's Hammersley. Sir, that is right into the heart of the storm cell. Message acknowledged. We're en route to EPIRB coordinates. Over. It was an easy job. We get bored, right? Coach, watch this. It's Hammersley. Please respond. Over. <laughs> Sir, I'm uh, having trouble getting through on the radio due to this. Permission to power up the 900. Permission granted. Thank you, sir. Coast, watch this is Hammersley. Over. Coast, watch this is Hammersley. Over. So the ex is recommending you for promotion. That's awesome. It's not actually. I'm not sure I'm up for the extra responsibility. What? Are you so wanted to? Yeah, be careful what you wish for, hey? I know what I wish for, and I don't think I'm going to change my mind. Oh. <laughs> the EPEP signal is still 1.5 nautical miles ahead of us. Depth, four decimal one metres, sir. Starting to cut it fine. Sir, I have a visual in the water, green five near. Slow astern, both engines. Slow astern, both engines. Well done, bird. Deploy the ribs, X. Away sea boats, away sea boats. This is just surface debris, ma'am. No sign of the yacht. Body in the water on my port side. She's alive. She's alive, X. You got a dash? No, oh, no, that's it. Like so, I've got you now. Ready? Big breath for me. Ready? We got you. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You can thank the EPIRB. It saved your life. My husband. Have you found? Have you found him? Your husband? Is your husband out here? Martin. He was still on the boat. The... The yacht. Well, your husband was on the yacht when you were swept over, but we heard no mayday. No, he wouldn't let me send one. He, he smashed the radio, so he couldn't send a mayday. OK, let's get it back to the ship. Thermia was fairly mild. Temperature's just about back to normal. Doing well. And Martin? We're uh, still searching for him. Your boat has almost certainly gone down, but hopefully Martin was wearing a life jacket. Uh, I can't remember. When I was drying out your things, I found this. Is that... Yeah, that's Martin. We were married last year. Larry, you said something when we picked you up. You told us that Martin smashed the radio. And... Did I say that? Yeah. Martin was worried about salvage operators. They scan for maydays. They're like vultures. He was worried that if we lost the boat, they'd take everything. He didn't want us broadcasting the position. Ma'am. Lara, my name's Dylan Mulholland. Holland. We're required by law to warn shipping of potential hazards. We need to work out roughly where your yacht went down. Uh, it was still afloat when the EPIRB was activated? Yeah. But in the water, I lost sight of it very quickly. Right. 
Martin put me in a lifeboat and activated the EPIRB. I'm not much help. Sorry. I think she's telling us everything. She's been through an ordeal and she's worried about her husband. Which reminds me, we have to send this photo through to Navcom. Is that her husband? Great catch. You can't help who you fall in love with. Yes, you can. Swain, it's Lara's things. Lara, here's my number. You just call me if you need anything. Okay, thanks. Sir. Good luck. Patient's ready for transfer now, over. Ready to receive, over. Launch the rib charge. Yes, sir. I was monitoring that transmission. Shouldn't happen. What? Interference on the local signal. Newcastle's, what, 100 yards away? Shouldn't be happening. Stand by to retrieve sea boat. Recommend search pattern for missing yachts. Is this really necessary? Yes, it is. Mate, I could check the hardware and comms then, yeah? Unnecessary. Bro, under the circumstances, the angle, look, it looks... Two dads, the angle of the antenna can affect signal strength, so just do it. Two dads, I can't find the left-handed screwdriver. Keep looking, Bird. It's in the toolbox, I told you. It looks like this. It's just a left-handed one. OK. What's he doing out there, anyway? His job. Ugh. No sign of the missing man, sir. So our chances are now looking pretty slim. Yeah, it seems that way. Thanks. Uh, we are making one last pass through the search area where we calculated the vessel sunk. Sir, there's a salvage vessel close to those original EPIRB coordinates. And it looks like they've got visitors. I know this bloke. The boat's name is the Rioli. The salvage's name is Albi Dumas. He's got a reputation for cutting corners. What's worse, he's ex-Navy. Clearance diver in Vietnam. Oh. Even won a bravery award. Didn't do anything for his personality. Two dads, make sure your camera's recording. The red button is on, X. Get off, my boat. It's my brother's yard. Trespassing, pal. Get off. Hey! hey. Keep us, pal. Stop doing your Get off my boat, you maggots. I'll play you as you think you are. I'll never write to sail again. I'll play you as you think you are. 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 I'll play you as which one of you is Albie Dumas? The good looking one. I'm Lieutenant McGregor from HMAS Hammersley. Well, do your job and get these trespassers off my boat. He's got no right to be here. I located a sunken yacht. It's in shallow water. It's mine, pal. This animal is diving on a okay, grave. Okay, what is your interest in this? The missing sailor? Yeah, his name is Martin Strauss. Yeah, well, I'm his brother, Carl Strauss. Yeah, and I'm Johan. I'm doing everything by the book here. I found an abandoned yacht and I filed a claim. You're a vulture, mate. Mate. Right, the police and the coroner are both going to need to be involved if there is a body in Check. the water. There's no body, there's very little of anything down here. Get him out of here. Right, sir, you are not welcome on this boat. If you would like to get back the on your vessel... Already taken. We are going to try and ascertain that. If you will just be patient, can you please get back on your vessel? Get him over there. Yep, everybody right back of the boat, please. In the back, back of the, the boat. Back of the boat. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay there. <sighs> Lara, what, what are you doing out here? Are you feeling OK? I'm fine. Look, sorry, my sister-in-law's going through an awful <laughs> lot. If you just please yeah, just... I'm just surprised to see her out of hospital so soon. Oh, she's just anxious about her husband, isn't she? Yeah, but surely spending one more night in hospital would have been much better for her than... Hey, X. 
Yeah, it's actually go ahead. We've got Albie to agree to hand over any items he finds for the next of kin. Good, that might help. Well, now these guys, they're well within their rights if they want to try and stop him diving. Well, he maintains there's nothing worth salvaging down there. Thanks, Dutchie. So, you gonna arrest them? Or are you too gutless? Famously, Dutchie. Receive and go ahead. Albie Dumas has logged the appropriate claim with the authorities, but he's supposed to wait until a police authorisation comes through. Copy that. Thanks, Robert. What's with him? First he wants to stay, now he's gone. And you're going too, sir. I acknowledge you have a permit, but you cannot dive until the police have checked over the site and given it the all clear. Is that understood? Yeah, thanks for this. Two dads couldn't sort it out. If the search for that missing man hadn't been called off, I would be out there with underperforming equipment. That happened very often? <laughs> Gotta humour. OK, signal strength is unacceptable. I think it's something to do with the antennas. Hello, Kate McGregor speaking. Yes, Lara. OK, can you just slow down? You're not making sense. Yes, the search for your husband has been called off. If you need to talk about... Yeah, OK, why don't... Yeah, why don't I come and meet you? Yeah, all right, I'll meet you there. All right. And like... What's going on? You're going to meet her? Do you want me to come? I don't know if you've noticed, but you can come across at times as a little intimidating. Me? Mm. Nah. No, I'd better go alone. You stay. Woof. This boat shed together. You can't stop the search. You must keep looking for Martin. Lara, it's an official decision. I can't Please. change that. Please. He's still out there somewhere. And that man, that, that salvage man. Albie? He's in danger. Who from? Lara, what's wrong? What are you afraid oh, of? I... Listen, if you are in trouble, I can help you. No. Lara! What are you going to say to the feds? Never even got a good look at them. Just tell them what I know, I guess. I gave you an order not to follow me. No, you didn't. I did. That was more of a suggestion. Oh. Hey, have you tried Lara's number, the one she called you from? No. She said that Albie Dumas was in danger. She was clearly terrified. The radio's working, Robert? Yes, sir. I've still got to do some tests, but I'm happy with the signal quality. Excellent. Did you radio the salvage operator? Yes. Dumas? I did, ma'am. And there was no static or interference, so that was good. But what did he actually say? Oh, no, he didn't respond. So he didn't respond because he didn't get the message? Well, I can't say. But the signal was perfect, so... puts my mind at rest. What? 
try him again. Twelve hour shore leave? Me too. Come over to mine for dinner. Better not. Things might get out of hand. Come on, we're both mature adults. We can control ourselves. Speak for yourself. I can control myself. <clears throat> you sure about that? Okay. We better not tempt fate. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> about to get in the shower. Don't let me stop. Sure, leave's cancelled. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the ship. Let's not arrive together. I've got nothing, Swain. Well, these are the coordinates. I thought he'd still be hanging around. He did say there wasn't much left to salvage. Uh, radar contact bearing 340, range 10 nautical miles, man. Sir, this just in from Coast Watch. They've spotted Albie Dumas's vessel. The Rioli, it's roughly nine nautical miles north and it is travelling at eight knots. Have you been trying to raise him? Every eight minutes. Still no response. He must have turned his transponder off. According to that intel, this must be him, but ship's details aren't coming up on radar. All right, let's intercept. MV Rioli, this is Australian warship Hemmersley, over. Hemmersley to Rioli, are you reading me? Over. Oh, this guy's a pain, what's he playing at? He can't, I mean, he's not faster than us, is he? Not by a long shot. So is he just messing with us? Well, let's find out. Get a rib in the water. Where do you think you're going? What? Robber heard a noise. I thought it was all fixed. You thought wrong, X. Oh, you can sort it out later. Get your kid on, you're coming with us. Yes. M. Virioli, this is Australian warship Hemmersley. You are to stop or heave to. We intend to board you to enforce Australian maritime law. Hey, Dutchie, you go up first, just in case Albie makes a smart mouth comment. I might do something inappropriate. Yeah, right, and I'm gonna be Mr. Squeaky Clean. Dermis! Albie! Check the wheelhouse, Wade. Mr. Dermis! 
Hello? Albie! XC boat's on autopilot. Albie! Is he there? Is he going to give us any more lip? Not anymore. Out here thinking. Oh no. What? You've got that look on your face again. Last time you had that look, you got yourself into trouble. No, it's not like that. I was wondering. About? What is so important about that boat? I think it's all about the sunken yacht. Oh, that's where it all started. And so I was just. Wondering? Yes, wondering. It's not that deep out there. What would I find if I went snorkeling? Do we have time? We? Yeah. About four hours? Shall we? X? Sorry. Navcom want a report from both of us? What shoddy workmanship? It was working when you left board. It's not working now, is it? <laughs> you broke it. You didn't fix it properly in the first place, and I want it fixed now. You've got four hours. You're seven time minutes now. That's how long we're in port for. Get me off this boat. When I met with Lara, she told us that he was in danger and that is why we followed it up. Even though it's technically a federal police matter? All right, they've determined that the shed where you met Lara was indeed purchased by her husband only a month earlier. Now, Lara was released from hospital into the care of her brother-in-law, Carl Strauss, but the address he gave turns out to be a pet shop in Maroubal. Seems like everyone's giving out false information. The feds will look for Lara and chase Carl Strauss. We can put this to bed and get back to our real work. Where are you going? Uh, we finished. We're going home. Uh, no. I have to do some <laughs> tests first. Oh, OK, hang on. I what need to you... make sure that the work has been done to my satisfaction. OK, you're sailing soon. You'll wait here, or you can watch and learn. Is he always like this? This is a good day. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel sorry for you. Thanks. Appreciate that. You ready to sail? All ships company present, sir, except for Dutchie. Where is he? I've got no idea. He went to look over the sunken yacht. It was four hours ago. I'll get permission from Navcom to sail without him. Sir. Seems to be empty, sir. Dutchie was in that. Well, yeah, we were going out together to take a look around. Well, I was going to go with him, and then you called me away. Just surprised that he went out on his own. That's... Dutchie! He's not there. He's not on board. Yeah, no one on board is. Got him? One, two, three. Ah. Oh, I got 
Got up in the wreck. He's injured X. Okay, just set him down nice and easy. Oh, Dutchy. Oh, it's nasty. Oh, God, Swain. Go! Uh, Dutchy. Hey, Swain, Dutchy. He's out, he's out. Hang in there, mate, hang in there. Dutchy. I feel like an idiot. This was a stupid accident. Okay, man. You should keep the pain at an acceptable level. Acceptable to me or you? There you go. Should start to feel better. Let's get the rest of his wetsuit off, eh? Hey? So they managed to trace the gold bar using the serial number and the gold mark. It was part of a shipment that was hijacked in the Indian Ocean about a month ago. There you go. Thanks, Swain. Here you go. Oh, bomber. You're a rock star. It's only to you, Dutchie. No. <laughs> Dutchie, the photos from your camera, we've had Robert print them oh, up. Great. Yeah, look, see, they had to be an inflatable with that boat. You see that section of the guardrail there? You see the canvas cover? It's the type used to cover an outboard engine, isn't it? Yeah. And um, the mounting block is there. But there was no engine near the boat. Albie could have salvaged it. No, but see how the canvas cover is tied to the guardrail? That means whoever used that outboard had to have removed it before the yacht sank. So why wasn't Lara in an inflatable? So we're thinking Martin and Lara were part of the gang that did this robbery. Probably. And then Martin got greedy, took the gold and made off in his yacht. And that's why Carl was so upset to find a salvage operator poking around the wreck. They probably thought Albie recovered the gold. That's why they killed him. But did Albie actually get the gold? Or had Martin already got away with it before the yacht sank? Now, given the storm surge on that day, if he did get away in the inflatable, he might have made it to here. It is the only island in that direction. Prevailing winds and currents wouldn't have allowed him to go any other way. What do you think? along the beach. Bomber, with me, we'll head inland. I want you to stay in radio contact. If you see anything, you call it in. You really expect to find anything? Oh, it's a long shot. OK. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. So what are we looking for? Any sign that someone's been through here recently? Footprints count? Yeah, looks like there's been some traffic through here. This way. doing here? I think her friends are thinking the same things as us. Well, they don't look like a friend's ex. Hammersley, this is X-ray at two over. Oh, I was having trouble with the radio. Oh, not now. Hammersley, do you read me over? Relax, sir. Don't move. Don't say anything. On your knees. Oh, you don't like that. You don't mind doing it to someone else. 
We're here to help you. X-ray A2, this is Hammersley. Radio check. Over. It should have been fixed. Is it definitely just a radio problem? Well, there's no way to tell conclusively. Get a second shore party standing by, just in case. Roger that. We've located Lara and apprehended one of the suspects. We're just taking them back to the rib now. Where are you? Ma'am, we've been following the coast all the way around the island. We're probably a mile away. Avoid contact with any of the suspects. They're armed. Understood. Well, Swain, for some reason we can't make contact with Hammersley. For now, we're on our own. Yeah, I heard, ma'am. I'm sorry. We know about the gold, Lara. Martin always was greedy. He wasn't happy with our share. So he stole from them and you had the gold on the yacht. That's why Martin didn't want me to mayday during the storm. They would have found us. Do you think that Martin's alive? The last I saw him, he was loading gold into the inflatable. He said he'd come back for me, but we didn't think the yacht would sink so fast. Why did you find me? I, I escaped from Carl and I called you to warn you. Now I realise they've probably let me escape and followed me, hoping I'd lead them to Martin. If Martin is alive, do you think he'll come back for you? Of course. He loves me. Hey! It's Lara's husband! Go! Hey! Wait! You chase him, I'll cut him off! Go! Hey! Hey, Martin, stop running! Stop running! Get away with this! Cops my whole life, man. You think you've got a chance? Look what we have here. Bars of gold. Keep moving. Swain, you won't believe what I found, mate. What's wrong? Hey, Marty. Drop it. Time no see, Marty. X-ray A2, this is Hammersley. Over. Sir, I've checked everything. I can't isolate the problem. It's driving me nuts. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Charge, get the second rib over to the island. Sir. Full tactical gear. We can't take the chance. Yes, sir. What are you doing up here? Feeling better, sir. I'd like to go on the short party, sir. You sure you're up to it? They need me. No heroics, understood. Good to go, sir. Carry on. This is Carl. Are you reading me? Am I come in? Can you hear me? Oh, crap. I'm not getting any response from the campsite. There might be more navy on the island. Come on, move it, you two! Move! Come on! Go! Carl, come in. Come in. What are you doing here? I got better. All right, the suspects are here. I believe there's three of them. We've only apprehended this man. Bomber, getting them back to Hammersley. Is your radio down? Uh, yeah, I can't get through to Hammersley and I can't race Swain. You could before? Yeah. Well, whatever's happening on Hammersley, you should still be able to contact Swain unless you, I don't know, out of range. Which way did you send him? North along the beach. Judge, we'll meet you there. Okay. Bomber! 
go in the second room. Come in. Charge this way. Come in. Carl. It's over. For God's sake, give it up. You're a traitor! Carl Strauss. You don't leave immediately! I'll kill these men! You have two of our people, we're not leaving. I'm serious! Do you hear what I said? Consider your position. Why should I? I'm holding all the cards! No, you're not! Drop your weapon! On your knees! Down on the ground! Don't shoot! Now! On your knees! I'll take that! You! Hands behind your back! Now! Do it! Do it! Don't be stupid. Hands behind your head. Good work, Swain. Hey, you made good time. Jogged all the way. Is that you, right? Oh, I don't feel so good. Dutchy. Dutchy? Dutchy, can you hear me? Hey, Dutchy. Dutchy! Swain! Swain! Dutchy, I need you to stay with me. Excuse me, sir. Martin. Lara, darling. Has he mentioned me at all? No. Did he even ask if I was alive? I love you. I... Oh. You liar! You are never coming back! Laura! Take her through to the junior sailor's mess. Keep an eye on her. Sir. <laughs> yeah? How's the patient? Oh, the bleeding stopped. We'll get over it. He's strong. Can I talk to him? Uh, sure, but I've just pumped him full of pethidine, so it might not make much sense. Hello, how are you feeling? Hey. <laughs> uh, floating. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh. And do you want to explain why you came ashore in that condition? <laughs> I mean, what were you thinking? Dutchie. You're an amazing woman. Bethadine, ma'am? Yeah. Won't remember a thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come <laughs> here. No, no, you rest up, big fella. Where are you going? Cup of tea. I'll come back and check on you in a minute, Lara. Are you hurt? Guess I'm not bulletproof after all. I trust you know why you're here. I have to ask, is there a sexual relationship going on between you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, there is. 
It only just happened. You know the regulations. You can't help who you fall in love with. Yes, you can. And to make matters worse, you brought it onto the boat. That I can't overlook. One or both of you will have to post off. I will, sir. It was my fault. Two dads wanted to observe the rules and I encouraged him otherwise. Bomber. Bomber, you realise that this will affect your promotion? Stuff it. I don't care. I don't want to sign up again anyway. Very well, Bomber. When we get back to port, I'll arrange for your transfer. It may take a couple of weeks. Thank you, sir. In the meantime, you'll continue with your duties in strict observance of the rules. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm very disappointed in you both. Dismissed. I can't help feeling slightly hypocritical about this. The difference is... they brought it on the boat. Bomber! You could have told me you felt that way. Now it's decided. I actually feel good. And when I'm off the boat, we can look forward to many more long, hot showers. Ah, X. Finally located that faulty circuit. Radio reception is at optimum level once more. Oh, that's great. I'm sorry I let you down earlier, man. You didn't. Well, it's my equipment, my responsibility. Turned out to be a single circuit. Oh. Do you want me to show you? Oh, maybe later. Won't take long. I just... I don't need any more complications. It's not that complicated, man. In my life.